Hello everyone, and today is May 4th, so we're going to do a little Star Wars project today, uh, kind of in honor of obviously being May 4th. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at how you add lightsabers to a picture. So for here is, is an example of what the end products are going to look like. We're going to add lightsabers to uh, pictures of animals uh, kind of fighting. So you can see here I added uh, different lightsabers to the characters. So let's talk about how this is done. So the first thing you do is find a picture. So this is the picture I'm going to use. I'm going to click up here. I'm going to copy that URL. I can either do Control C or Command C if on a Mac, or Edit Copy, whichever way works best. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go over to Pixlr. I'm going to come down to Open Image from URL. I'm going to paste that link in there, either using Control V or Command V or right click paste or edit paste, whatever you want to do. I'm going to hit OK. Then my picture is going to come in. Now you can see Pixlr kind of cut off uh, some of my layers palette there. Or my uh, palettes there because, you know, that gigantic ad. So let's move these over so I can see everything. Because you're going to need your layers palette. Now what I need to do is kind of decide how I want the lightsabers to be. So I'm going to have him holding one lightsaber kind of going up this way. You have to make it obviously work with the hand. So you, you can kind of tell if someone was holding something which way it would go. And on the second squirrel, I'm actually going to add two lightsabers. One coming up this way, and I'll kind of have one coming this way. Now, what you need to do is kind of think about what color you want to use. Now I'm going to make this one over here. Um, let's say I do the Mace Windu color. So I'm going to do a purple lightsaber. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to click the color I want to use. Um, so let's kind of go purple here, and we'll kind of go maybe a little darker, kind of right about there. I'll hit OK. So my color is now selected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw actually a line that comes out this way. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new layer. Right? You want to make sure you're adding a new one. You don't want to do it on, on your uh, first layer. So otherwise, it's not going to work too well. So you got to make sure you do it here. I'm going to come over here, and you have a little shape sprout called the drawing tools. When you click it, you can see there's different uh, shapes you can do. We want to use a line. You also want to come over to here where it says size, and you want to um, try a different size. Now, I already did this, so I know what size to kind of use. Um, if this is the first time you're doing it on a picture, you may have to kind of do it and then undo um, to find the correct size. So I think six turned out pretty well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and hold. Where I click, that's where it's going to start, and where I let go is where the line's going to end. So I'm going to kind of click right above his hand, click and hold, and drag upwards. So that looks about right. If it's not good, you could just undo and redo the line, um, kind of whatever you have to do to make it look right. But I did it right the first time, so that's pretty cool. Now, to create kind of the more blur look, so that it looks like this is glowing, because otherwise it just looks like a purple line on there, I want to right click this layer, and I'm going to go down to Layer Styles. When I do that, there's a couple different options I can use in here, but what I want to use is Outer Glow. Now I want to move this down so that I can kind of see what's happening as I make changes. So you can see already, you can kind of see a little glow here. All right. Now it's going to use this color by default. I can click it and pick something different. Now I want to pick something kind of along that purple line. Um, I kind of did that here quick, but what I did is if I move my mouse up here, it turns a little eyedropper. I can click that purple and it will find it automatically in here for me. So I'm going to use just a little different. Maybe I'll go a little, uh, let's try a little darker shade. Maybe lighter. That looks pretty good. I can click that. You'll see that now instead of kind of a blue, it's a little purple. I can then play with these adjusters to get the right kind of glow, something that looks right. So you can see I can as I adjust that, it creates the different glow. You can adjust the opacity, make different looks. Now, if it looks like kind of a harsh line there, what I need to do is crank up the darkness of that shadow a little bit. There we go. Now that looks kind of good. 
That looks pretty good. So as you adjust it, you can kind of get that right look. It just takes a little patience to make it right. Now I want to add a lightsaber to each of the squirrel's hands. So I'm going to make another new layer. And I will come in, make sure I still have my line tool. I know six was still pretty good, so I'm going to use that. Now the color I'm going to change, and I'm going to kind of do the classic Sith red. I'll start with this hand first. I'll kind of drag the line up. We'll kind of do a red there. I'll right click it. Click layer styles. I'll add an outer glow. The color, I want to do something red. So let's grab my little eyedropper. So I have that and let's pick a dark red there. You can see it actually remembered your settings kind of a little bit from the last one, but I'll kind of adjust this a little bit. That's pretty good. I'll hit OK. Now, what I'm going to do for the second one here is I'm going to cheat a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this layer. I'm going to say duplicate. Because I already made one lightsaber, I want an identical one. I can just copy that layer. Then I'm going to click my move tool, move this one down. And then I'm going to do edit, free transform to rotate it. And right about there, maybe it looks good. Now I want it so that his hand is holding it. But note what I'm doing is I'm actually going to have it kind of go over the top of his hand right now. All right, because I want to make it appear behind there. So I'm going to put it right over the top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the magnifier and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. All right, zoom in a little more. And what I'm going to do then is while I'm clicked on that second lightsaber layer, there's something called opacity. And I'm going to turn that down. You'll see what happens. While I'm clicked on that layer, I'll click this. And if I turn down the opacity, what you see is I can kind of see through that layer and I can see where that squirrel's hand is. All right. The reason I did that is now I can go click my eraser. And I'm going to shrink that eraser up a little bit. Let's pick like five. I can now come in here and I can erase where that red is on his hand because I don't want it to show there, right? Because he's holding it, so I shouldn't see it. Now I'm going to let it come through between his fingers because maybe that's kind of where he's holding it. Once I erase what I don't want, I'm going to crank up that opacity again. So now it's back to normal. Now I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to click that. Now I'd like to use the keyboard shortcut if I hold shift. See all the plus on the magnifier changes to a minus. I can then click out. And I now have squirrels with lightsabers fighting each other. So a simple little project that's kind of fun. And you can obviously do this on any type of picture. Um, but here's just kind of a neat little one that we can do. Now just as a reminder, if you ever do one of these and you go to save, I can go file, save. Please note that under the format, there's a couple different ones. If you want to keep those layers separate in case you want to go back and edit, you have to pick PXD. That keeps the layers. But if you are going to do it to post it up um, to a website or somewhere else for everyone to see, you probably want to pick something like PNG or JPEG, which will flatten the image. Um, it gets rid of all your layers, but then anyone can look at them. All right. So that's how you can add lightsabers to any kind of picture. Thanks for watching, and may the fourth be with you.